You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, also cashing in on Black Friday boy here. Welcome to the channel where, to be fair, this is a staggering deal which is too good to pass up on. If you're in the market for a PC at the moment, this is too good to miss and I had to update this list because a couple of months ago I did the Workstation Slayer video for 2019, this one here. Uh, it's an stunning looking computer, it looks a little something like this and that all came in at roughly 650 for low end budget, horrible looking cheap parts up to $800 for the, so the, the well branded parts. Well, as of today, on Black Friday and over the weekend, you can get the top end PC parts for this build for around, well actually I can tell you exactly what the prices are. Uh, it was 800 bucks, it's now 681 US dollars for a top notch build and 618 UK pounds for the high quality parts. So I'll go through what they are. So links are in the description. There's two TFI Amazon stores, one for the US, one for the UK. That'll take you straight to this shopping list for all the parts that you need. Now, don't forget, I've bought all of these parts myself. I built this PC with my own money, with my own hands and tested the nuts off of it. And this PC performed as good as an i9-9900K system for, uh, say, basic, but most medium CAD tasks, Autodesk Inventor, Fusion 360, Revit, uh, probably extending through the majority of the Autodesk portfolio. Outstandingly good. And for £618, if I was in the market for a PC, I'd seriously be... I, I, I have it. It's right down here. That's it there underneath the soundbar. It's staggeringly good. So the parts are... And, and so I've updated this as well. So the parts list has been refreshed. All the higher end parts are now much cheaper. Uh, they're slightly different branded to what's in the video, but it's exactly the same spec. So we're going in for the storage. And this is the US site. Crucial P1, 500 gigabytes of NVMe PCI Express solid state storage. Half a terabyte of NVMe PCI Express storage for $53. Win. Case. The first parts list on the cheaper end. I'll put in an awful Rosewill, ugly, get the job done case. But now you can go in it's still being around $680 and you can go for a beautiful Inwin 101 Micro ATX case, which is the one that I built in the video. Except mine was black, this one's white. If you want to go for the black one, you can do. It's probably roughly the same price. But that is, it's a stunning case, very well made, good quality, and it looks the tits. It really does. It looks beautiful. Uh, power supply, Cooler Master 500 watt PSU. Uh, you can probably chuck a few more dollars in of this if you're thinking, ah, I'd prefer to go for a platinum or a gold rated power supply, by all means, mate, Cup, chuck a couple more dollars in, you can get a, but it's a, it's a cooler massive power supply, it's well branded, and it'll be good quality. Uh, the graphics card, we're still going in for the RX 580, which is an aging video card, but we're not buying this for gaming, this is for CAD tasks, which means that all we need is video RAM, and it has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. For $170, there is nothing you'll do that will max out 8 gig of video RAM during your CAD tasks, unless you're a Disney animator. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're just doing AutoCAD drawings or if you're doing mechanical parts, you ain't touching 8 gig of video RAM. Trust me on that. I've tested it extensively. Memory, we have Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gig, two sticks of 8 gig, which means you can run this in dual channel mode. And I've upped the megahertz from the original 2600 megahertz, which was the low end original build, up to 3000 megahertz, you can go slightly higher again. If you think, oh, I've heard Ryzen uh, 3 is better suited for higher megahertz of RAM. That is true, but it costs more. But 3000 megahertz RAM is just fine. It's just fine. And for $58 for Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, winning deal. Uh, the motherboard, I went for the MSI board this time. I've been the original ASRock, which things with the ASRock board, the old one, you would have had to have somehow got a newer version of the BIOS on it. They may be shipping the boards now, this further on from the original CPU release date with newer versions of the BIOS on, but MSI boards allow you to download BIOS off the internet and then flash it straight onto the board before you install the CPU to support the new CPUs. If you don't know what any of that means, 
just build the PC, it might just work. If it doesn't, Google MSI BIOS flashback and there'll be oodles of articles telling you what you need to do. It's dead simple. Uh, CPU, there you go. AMD Ryzen 5 3600, six core, 12 threads. That is an incredible, outstanding processor. And it's at $186 at the moment. All in all, 681 US dollars for that build. Obviously, I've not included Windows 10. A lot of people have their own Windows 10 licenses already to their digital account. And it just goes with them when they get a new PC. But you can find all kinds of CD key websites which offer Windows 10 for $10. Or you can go to Microsoft and pay 100 for it if you want to. It's up to you, mate. But a lot of people already have it. Hopping on over to the UK store. Similar build, exactly the same spec, slightly different branded parts. So the RAM's the same uh, for 60 quid. 60 quid now for 16 gig of RAM. A couple of years ago, that was like treble the price. Uh, Corsair Vengeance help maybe double the price. I don't know. It was a lot more anyway. 16 gig. 2x8 gig dual channel RAM, uh, DDR4, 3000 megahertz for 60 quid. Power supply, we went for the Cooler Master 550 watt power supply this time for 48 pounds. So much cheaper over in the UK for power supplies at the moment. But again, if you prefer platinum or a gold rated power supply, you can chuck a few more quid in for that. The case, so on the US store, I went for the Inwin 101. Uh, but in the UK store, you, this amazing deal on at the moment, you can get the NZXT H510 case for 55 quid and look at it's a beautiful case beautiful well made highly regarded for 55 quid <laughs> what a time what a time right the motherboard msi b450m pro motherboard for 68 pounds against msi so you can use bios flashback for the new ryzen chips and the solid state drive same as the us build western digital uh, nvme ssd half a terabyte for 56 pounds Graphics card, this time it's the XFX rather than the Sapphire Radeon. £152 for 8 gig of video RAM. Mental. Absolutely mental. If you've got money to spare, if your budget was maybe around 700 I would recommend putting a few more quid in and possibly going for maybe a GeForce 1660 Super, something like that, or a 1660 Ti. I don't know, something around the 16 range. If you've got some more money to spend, that's not to say the, the 580 isn't good enough. But if you've got a bit more there, I'd probably prefer to go for a, an NVIDIA branded card at that price point. And then the, the CPU, AMD Ryzen 5, 3600, 6 cores, 12 threads, £179. All in all, £618 UK pounds for an entire PC parts list there. And like I said, this PC rivals an i9 build at average 3D CAD tasks. And it beats my 8700K, which is overclocked and delidded with liquid metal. If you think, well, why aren't you using that, mate? Well, that's it there. It's like literally just down there. Uh, my 8700K PC, which is my editing rig, I've got, I've got two 2080 Ti's in there, which won't fit in that small case. I've got 32 gig of RAM in it. So that PC down there is just like a spare workhorse. But for my next PC, I am going AMD. Okay. So there you go, mate. There's the two shopping lists, both linked in the video description to the US and the UK. But in addition to that, there's another deal going on at the moment for Black Friday. I'm not a fan of these time sensitive videos because if you're watching this in two months time, this won't apply. But link in the description will take you over to the Autodesk store where they have a Black Friday special on AutoCAD and a few other licenses uh, where you can get 25% off. Unfortunately, Inventor isn't included for whatever reason. I don't know, I don't make the decisions. But AutoCAD, $1,200 for a year of AutoCAD. $300 for AutoCAD LT. $1,100 for a year of Maya. Good time, <laughs> good time to be buying your year's subscription. Uh, if it's up for renewal right about now. Link in the description, that is my affiliate link. So I will get a bit of a kickback from Autodesk for referring you over to them at no cost to you. It's just thanks from Autodesk for the business. And then over to the UK, same again, same suite of products. Uh, I believe there's only the six of them. Uh, 3D Studio Max, Fusion, Maya, Autocad, Revit, and Autocad LT. Funny enough, just Revit LT, not full Revit, odd. But there you go, there's your 25% off. And that's your Black Friday special from Autodesk. So also in the description is the link to that original 3D Card Workstation Slayer video which is the exact same spec as the shopping list. And you can see a few benchmarks in here. For example, uh, the Inventor benchmark here is the uh, 8700K of my PC pulling uh, an 11.87 on the Inventor bench test. That's 
overclocked to five gigahertz in an i7. It's about two and a half grand worth of PC there. And then that's an 11.87. And here's the 600 pounds PC pulling a 12.29, finishing all the modeling, drawing, graphics tests, much faster and much better than my i7 8700K. It's an outstanding, <laughs> it's an outstanding deal. Uh, if I was in the market right now for PC, I'd go for that one in a heartbeat. Hell, I already have. It's sat right there. Anyway, mate, there you go. That's enough of me selling out. I mean, am I? Yeah, yeah, I am selling out. But this, I, I can't vouch for this PC enough based on the testing that I've done. And also the other people who've bought it as well. Several people, I've heard from several people, probably more people have bought it, but heard from several people who've put this together based off of my shopping list and they are loving it. It's brilliant. Okay, anyway, that's enough. That's all I've got. And uh, yeah, this it's probably a good time, by the way. Just FYI, I, I'm trying to do a video on just this, but I'll mention it at the end. Possibly a good time if you are looking to get into Fusion 360 this month, because at the moment, Autodesk have a promotion on at the moment where you can get, where's the, where's the one we're looking for? There we go, Fusion 360. Yeah, if you do go for Fusion 360, Autodesk have got a promotion on at the moment where you get free, unlimited generative design cloud credits until the end of December. So you can play with and run generative design to your heart's content, trial and error, try it, fail, start again, start again, start again. Usually it's 20 cloud credits a pop, which is roughly $20, uh, but now it's free. If you want to download your model, that was 100 credits, which is like $100. That's free until the end of December. So if you're thinking, I've always wanted to get into that, but it seems expensive. There's discount on Fusion 360. Generative design's free until the end of December. Fill your boots. Get learning generative design. And then at the end of December, you can decide whether it was right for you or not. So there you go, mate. Yeah, like I said, that's all I've got. Thanks very much. Uh, links in the description to all of the things that I've just mentioned, storefronts, Autodesk website, and I'll uh, see you in the next one, mate. Cheers. Toodles.